So, let's look at method two of real and apparent depths, and that is a traveling microscope method of determining refractive index of a liquid. So, in this experiment, what step, which step do we follow? We can start by saying that make make a scratch at the bottom of a beaker and place the beaker below or under the traveling traveling microscope okay that if I have a beaker the usual beaker we know make some scratch that can act as our object. You can make like a cross, put a dot, but something which can be seen. And then get that beaker and place it in below the traveling microscope, isn't it? Below it. So after doing that, adjust the microscope until the scratch is clearly seen and then take the scale reading from the microscope as a centimeter so what is true is that a traveling microscope measures the vertical distance eh, to some level so what happened is you should adjust your microscope not until you see the scratch which is under the boat which is at the bottom of the beaker when it is clearly seen now it is very clear and then take measurement of the height isn't it from that scratch up to where the microscope is for where you're seeing the for where you're seeing the scratch clearly and take that reading as a centimeter from where the scratch is up to where the microscope is and then next Fill the beaker with a liquid whose refractive index is required and adjust. the microscope until the scratch is again clearly seen and then take the scale reading from the microscope as it be. So what happened is after you focusing the bottom of the beaker having a scratch, the moment you put liquid, what happened is the liquid will make the other mark to look like it is raised up. So now what you do 
you are supposed to adjust the microscope maybe also by moving it up so that again you see again you see the mark clearly because you have said that adding liquid in the beaker will make the other mark to be displaced like it is raised up therefore for you to see it again very well try to raise try to raise also your microscope up and that will mean that the reading of B will be bigger than the reading of A and then after doing that after doing that we can say place an object which can float on liquid place an object which can float on liquid on the surface of the liquid and uh, adjust the microscope until the object is clearly seen and then you can say take the scale reading from the microscope as a c centimeters and then we shall say the refractive index of the liquid is given by is given by any equal to c minus a out of c minus b that is what you're calling the refract that's why you can calculate the refractive index of the liquid please this one here is standing for real depths and this one here is standing for apparent depth c okay so this is where we can calculate the we can determine the refractive index go say that if i have this as my beaker you have put a glass assuming your microscope is making observation from here i will measure the height from here for the glass as it a is that okay and now what happen is if you add liquid here up to some level here this glass will appear to be raised to some point here so to observe it well that means that you should be in position of now raising this microscope to some other level here okay and now that means that the height of the microscope as it's standing from the ground that it should take will now be b is that it so if the mark was here and it is here if it comes there it is equivalent to raising this here so that means that this one here definitely i would say it is the same as our displacement is that okay that is our this placement and then if you put an object which is floating here that means that you will also move this to some other level here so now that now this distance is our c and you realize that the distance from here up to here is the same as from here up to and this can be now our real depths because real depths is this Yeah. if it was here here if it is coming here then this one should be raised here this one will be real depths so that's why we are saying that it's real depths of apparent but now what is real depths it is now c 
subtract A, we shall remain with the real depths. Now, what about, what about apparent depths? Apparent depths is now this, which is the same as now this. This is apparent depths. Is that it? This, which is this. Because this is this. This is this. This is this. So, if I'm looking at this being this, that means that to get this, it is the same as C minus B. Will be my apparent depth. So, that is basically how we can determine the refractive index of a liquid using real and apparent depths and using a traveling microscope. We shall again look at using real and apparent depths, but when we are look using a pin, that will be in our next coming episode. Thank you.